This man, identified as Olunoti Badejo, has allegedly killed his wife, Fola Shadi Badejo, over the payment of their three children's school fees. Fola Shadi, who used to be a fashion designer, on Wednesday, 15th of October 2022, got into an argument with her husband over the payment of their three children's school fees. The argument was said to have, you know, degenerated into fisticuffs as the 51 years old Mr. Olunoti allegedly smashed Falashade's head against the wall of the apartment located at, you know, Obafemi Wode local government area of the state. She was said to have fallen. But according to their eight years old daughter, who goes by the name Jumoke, reportedly said that her father abandoned her mother on the floor as she rooted in pain and died. And then their father eventually, you know, continued to bond the woman with a hot iron. According to younger brother to the late woman, Miss Falashadi, who goes by the name Mr. Yusuf, said that the incident happened around 1.47 a.m. When the neighbors called him, it was very late for him to come. So the following day, you know, he came with his father and he was so shocked to, you know, find this mammoth crowd already gathered and weeping. So he entered the apartment and uh, removed the cloth that they used to cover her sis his sister. Then he saw different bones on her chest, on her breast side, at her back and, uh, you know, so many other parts. So he wanted to know exactly what happened from their children because he believed that the children will say exactly what happened. You know, that was when, you know, the eldest one, eight years old, told him what happened, that the father got drunk on that particular day. And uh, while their mother was asking him of their, you know, his children's school fees, he started beating the woman, eventually pushed him, you know, hit her head against the wall. And then the woman, you know, fell. But the shockest of all was that the little girl said when he, he she saw her mother, you know, wriggling in pain, she advised the father or suggested that they should take the mother to the hospital or even or at least, you know, inform the vigilante team of the area that night. But the husband refused, that is the father refused, saying that he might be arrested. Instead, he went into the kitchen and took his food, started eating, abandoned the wife there. And then, according to the brother of the late woman, said that he used to live with them before, you know, and he knows what the husband is capable of doing, that he couldn't even live to them up to four months when they were in Korodu, before he himself left them and started living in the church. You know, that uh, there was this fateful day that the, the sister, that is the late woman, you know, was sleeping in the sitting room. Her husband went to fetch water from the tap and started pouring it on her while she was sleeping. So because of that, the brother now left them to start living in the church. According to him, it's the sister, the wife to the, you know, the late woman that always pay their children's school fees. The husband is only in good position to drink, to stupor, while their children's school fees will be pending, you know. So, and then their little daughter went more to say that, you know, her mother was talking to the father that particular day that they were sent away from school and they've not eaten as well. They were very hungry. And their father was already drunk. He was already drunk that particular day. And that was how her father eventually slapped her mother. And they started fighting. Their father then hit the mother's head on the wall. And she fell and started breathing heavily. And suddenly stopped. And their father went to plug hot iron. Can you imagine? And then began to burn their mother's body, her chest, or her part of her body. Hoping that she would wake up. And then, eventually, the man on his own side said that the wife got electrocuted. That then when he came back from work, the wife told him that there's problem, you know, with the meter of the house. And he told the wife to wait, that uh, he wants to get a little rest, you know, after eating, so that he will come and see to himself what happened to the meter. And all of a sudden, he saw his wife on the, you know, on the floor. That is to say, she has been electrocuted. But the children said no. Their father burnt all parts of their mother. 
hoping that she will wake up and also told their children that their mother is a pretender she will get up when she you know when she wants to well we have always been saying that we should avoid domestic violence you know sometimes we don't even know where you touch somebody and the person will die everybody is sick these days guys domestic violence or violence of any type of any shade of any color should be avoided guys so finally mrs Shara falashade has been taken to the mortuary while the husband is still with the police may god always grant us heart of wisdom amen